Containers are important part of STL which provide the space where we store the actual data. Over the next few lessons we will look at uh, different containers provided in C++ STL. So let's begin with vector. So vectors uh, store the elements contiguously. So if you know uh, the position of one of the elements you can access the elements to the left and right of that and the storage of vector is handled automatically that is initially you may insert four elements and later you push back a few elements or insert a few elements in the end or in the middle and uh, it goes beyond the capacity then it will automatically reallocate a new space and copy everything and the new elements so it's handled automatically uh, and uh, it can be expanded or contracted as needed and vectors occupy more space than static arrays since uh, every time new memory allocation does not happen let's say you have just one element so it has a capacity of one next you insert two element now it does not have a space for that so it will allocate a space of two copy one here and the new element here let's say two next time you insert let's say you want to insert three there is no space here so it will let's say allocate a space of four beforehand so it is uh, one of the strategies to implement dynamic arrays dynamic sized arrays where the strategy is that when the space is full uh, allocate an array of double the size and then copy the elements so one two will be copied the third element which you inserted will be pushed here and it still has a space of one more element so next time you insert four no reallocation takes place but next time you insert 5 it will most likely allocate a space of 8 and copy the fifth one here and it has a space for remaining 3 so these all are done for you automatically you don't need to manage this and uh, let's look at some of the important functions in vector so one is size this is pretty much present in all the STL containers it gives you uh, the number of elements you have inserted and not the actual capacity so you see a difference here five elements are there but it has a capacity of eight and this size denotes that number of elements you inserted in that case five and capacity should return eight so what is the capacity for this and max size is the theoretical limit on the num maximum number of elements that can be inserted and it will be typically a very very large number and we will uh, see an example of this then we have this equal operator so we can allocate uh, a new vector or initializer list to a vector then this square bracket is used to access a vector element using the index let's say I want to access the fifth element of this vector so we will write v4 so here bound check is not there so even if it has let's say 1 2 3 and we write v3 that is I want to access the fourth element so it will go ahead and give you in most scenarios it may give you 0 so it will try to access this uh, address and give you some value and this at is also used for same purpose but here bound check is there so if you try to write v dot at 3 it should give out of bound exception index out of bounds then we have front which returns the first element so this should be same as v0 then back returns the last element and then this shrink to fit is used uh, to return back the remaining space so in this case we have five elements but it has a capacity of eight elements and now we are done with it we know that we don't need to insert any further so what we can do we can do v dot shrink to fit so it will return this memory back and its capacity will reduce to its size so this is a very this can be a very handy function in some of the scenarios and just like size pretty much all the containers provide empty so you can either write size equal to 0 to check whether it is empty or not or you can directly call empty it returns boolean true or false then these four we have already seen in our earlier lesson we where we saw iterator functions so begin returns an iterator which is pointing to the 
first element of the vector and returns an iterator to an imaginary slot after the last element of the iterate of the vector r begin is a reverse order traversal so r begin will return an iterator a reverse iterator which is pointing to the last element and r end will uh, be an iterator which will be pointing to a space before the first element then we have insert and erase if we want to insert at a particular position let's say i want to insert at third position so we will write v dot insert then we need to provide the iterator here so v dot begin plus 2 so this is the third position and then whatever value you want to insert and there are multiple versions of this either you provide a value or you provide two more iterators so you read from some other container and from that container let's say you want to insert everything from second to fifth index so you will provide these two iterators of that container it1 it2 so both of these are valid either a value or two iterators and the first iterator is the position where you have to start inserting similarly for erase you need to provide one iterator or you can provide a range of iterators so in this case it1 it2 this is open interval this is closed interval so it1 will be included it2 will not be included before it2 similar for erase then push back inserts in the end one element in the end then pop back removes one element from the end so let's see the example all of these functions in action so first and foremost important thing is to include the vector header otherwise you will not be able to use vectors next let's create a vector so I have written it just an, as a guide so that we don't miss out on some of the important functions let's call it v and it is 1 2 3 so first let's print its size let's also print the capacity So initially we have initialized it with initializer list so it will start with both capacity and size equal both should be 3 in this case so let's run so here capacity is 3 size is 3 let's also print the max size for once and it will remain constant And then what we will do uh, we will start inserting many elements so this is the max size so let's uh, insert a few elements let's start with so first let's see uh, the pushback so v dot pushback 5 now let's print this again and now you see size has increased by one we pushed one element to it now it has four elements but its capacity is six earlier it was three so it has doubled and even you can uh, see that it keeps on doubling so let's say int cap equal to v dot capacity so we will only print when a new re reallocation happens so if cap is not equal to v dot capacity
so it's printing every time but uh, okay we are not updating the capacity So you see here capacity was 6 before this loop then some insertions were made uh, probably uh, it has a space of 2 more so after 2 insertions it doubled to 12 then after 12 more insertions it doubled to 24 then 48 96 192 and here it has enough space because we are just inserting 100 so it has a space for 92 more elements. So this is how capacity is, is doubling. Now uh, let's look at this. Uh, a few operators. Or we have 100 and then 4, 104 elements. So let's print 103. And also the at operator. At function one is bound check one is not so both return 99 let's keep increasing now you see error but which one triggered error let's comment out this so it has just 104 elements and if we are accessing 104 it should be invalid but it prints 0 so it goes ahead and accesses that space whatever is stored there it prints 0 but this is bound check is added in this so if you print this it will give an error that is 105th element is not present so std out of range so that is the main difference next uh, let's look at front and back So front should be uh, this one this is what we had inserted 1 and the back should be uh, 99 so let's see what it prints so it prints 1 and 99 as expected now we will insert in the middle so v dot insert and we want to insert at v dot begin plus 2 so third position and let's insert minus 100 and then so let's print the third element and it should be minus 100 and its size is also increased by 1 whenever we insert its size increases so you see third element is minus 100 which we just inserted so this is how you insert at a particular position here we had used pushback it always inserts in the end similarly you can pop back So before pop back and after pop back we will print the size and it will decrease by 1 and uh, there is one more version of insert we will see that so here we are inserting just one element but we can insert multiple elements or a range so here the size was 105 then we popped back and its size became 104 now we will see another version of insert let's say we have another container a vector or you can have even other containers let's say list uh, 
माइनस हंड्रेड माइनस टू हंड्रेड माइनस थ्री हंड्रेड एंड वी नीड टू इंक्लूड द लिस्ट ऑल दो वी हैव नॉट स्टडीड लिस्ट बट सो एनी कंटेनर यू कैन हैव हेयर एंड एंड देन वी विल इंसर्ट लेट्स से फ्रॉम everything we will insert here so v dot insert v dot begin so let's say this time we are inserting everything in beginning so we are inserting everything here and then let's print v0 v1 so you see that uh, these have become the first three elements of the vector so these are inserted in the beginning similarly you can do the erase or first let's call pop back so this will remove the last element and then we can also erase v dot begin let's get rid of these three elements so what we will do v dot begin uh two so you can just provide this one then it will remove just one element let's say we want to remove the second second element that is minus 200 now let's see what happens it should be minus 100 then minus 300 and then one more value probably one So it's it's minus hundred minus three hundred and this two hundred is gone because we erased it. Now let's erase it in different manner. Uh, we can provide a range. So we dot begin plus two. So it will remove now uh, this one, this one. A uh, two it will not remove. So let's make it three. So it should be minus hundred. Then this will be removed. This will be removed. So minus hundred, then one and two. So this is how erase works. And uh, I hope I have covered pretty much all the important functions. So uh, do some practice. It will come from practice. You will uh, get to know each of these functions and when to use them.